Uh, it was great. It was fantastic. Um, seeing our fans here for the first time and since last season, um, our guys getting an opportunity to feel that energy. We, we're, we're all excited about this up and coming year. And uh, I hope New Orleans is as excited as, as we are. How, how important was it just for them to kind of just go off, start signing autographs? I mean, just make it like a full fan experience other than just you know, getting up and down. It's great. I mean, that's what this is really about. Open practice is a, is a chance for us to interact with the fans here, um, the people in the city that make the city go. And, um, you know, we, we're, we do everything hand in hand. We, we know our fans are behind us. Um, like I said before, we're excited about this year, and, you know, we're going to need all the support we can get. What was your reaction to just seeing how many people showed up for practice? I thought it was cool. Uh, it really was. You know, last season, um, let's, let's even go back further, coming from a pandemic, not having fans in the building, then we started to get more fans as the season progressed. Last year, we didn't have a great start, but towards the end, you know, we were right there having a good playoff run, our fans being in it. And so this season, I think, is, is continuing to build on that momentum with us, but also with the city here and with our fans. How do you, you know, make the difference between fans are always going to have super high expectations, but like you said last year, you measured your season in, in, you know, numbers of games, your progress go through, you know, with that. How do you balance those outside expectations with what you're trying to do on an uh, internal basis? Yeah, internally, we, we have to throw all of that out of the window um, and get, get to work. And that's how... You go about each and every day, each week, each month is built based on our preparation. And that's about our work. We have expectations that we want to achieve this season. And in order to do that, we have to be prepared when the opportunity presents itself. Is it tough when your team, you know, you had the 36 wins and you get to the playoffs and all those things are there, but you also have to show these guys, hey, we, we, we still have a lot of steps to be a championship team. No, it's not. I think we, we, we have a really good group. Um, they have a good understanding for what's in front of us. Like, like you said, it's going to take work. It's going to take a ton of effort. Um, things have to, have to go our way, but we're really confident in the fact that we can get on the floor, we can, we can prepare. And the beauty in it is we pretty much have the same team from last season. So we're off to a quick start in, in that sense. I know Larry, the news came out today. How excited are you that he's, he wanted to be here and now he's going to be here for the foreseeable future? Excited. I'm, I'm happy for Larry. I'm happy for his family. Um, like you said, we want to keep him here in the fold um, for many years to come. And um, it was great to, to see that get done. And, and you know, I'm, I'm happy for Griff and our staff that we can make it work. Coach, I know it's only been like a week of training camp, but how have you seen the chemistry grow with this team on and off the court so far? The chemistry is there, and it's, it's just going to get better. Now, you know, I have a responsibility of trying to make sure I put guys in a position to be successful on the basketball floor. Those are the things we're working on. But then, you know, you got CJ, you got Brandon, you got Z, uh, Jonas, and those guys just getting in the game, getting in some scrimmage time and, and sort of playing off each other, um, going through different reads. And so that's kind of fun for me to watch. When you first the first preseason game, is there a certain percentage of the offense and defense you want in place, or do you not view it that way? I just want, I want us to go and win our minutes. Um, whatever minutes that you have earned, during the preseason, you got to go win them. And, and that's individually, but also collectively. And it could be 10 minutes for certain guys. It could be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, what have you. We got to go win our minutes. And last season, you know, we just, we didn't have this, the start that we wanted to. And that's something that we, we want to look forward to is, is getting off to a good start. It already started in the summer. It started in training camp and then it'll start again, you know, on Tuesday. That's a continuation of what we want to do. What do you expect to see intensity wise defensively when you do get into those real game situations? Because obviously that's the thing that, that you made the calling card for this franchise. Yeah, that's what good teams do. Um, we want to be a high level playoff team contending for championships here. So we understand that the teams that win are in the top 10 in defense. We have to get stops. Um, so like you said, it's something that I talked about coming in here. It's something that we go over every day in practice. And um, you know, it's a lot of room for growth in that area, but I like where we're going. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good one.